rise above. Well, this takes a little explaining, but anyway, when years ago, when I was first out of college or graduate school, very, very poor. I don't know if anyone's very, very poor here or has been very, very poor. <laughs> But you know that point in your life where you get out of college or graduate school and you're starting to make a little bit of money, but you're not really sure because you've been scrounging to get yourself through your education. So, and at the time, my partner was in med school, so we were really like paying down low. And we were living in South Philadelphia. Does anyone know South Philadelphia? <laughs> yeah, do you live? Yeah, awesome place, loved it. Big white Irish girl walking around South Philadelphia. It was great. It was really, really fabulous. I lived in a nice little street, Eighth and Fulton. Does anyone know the saloon that area? And I loved it because everyone in the neighborhood really looked out for you. I would come home late at night, and the little Italian men would be like, "Hey, we saw you coming home late at night." And I actually felt really safe there. So anyway, to get this story going, I was at the point in my life where I was done with the threadbare towels that I had been carrying around with me my entire like college and I wanted a plush, thick bath sheet. <laughs> you know the towel I'm talking about? You could wrap it around you twice. I wanted one. And they were expensive then. And I know this sounds weird to like the generation that like throws the iPhone out and just gets a new one, but this was like an investment. So I wanted it so bad and I just saved and I went down to Strawbridges when it was still there, and I got a Ralph Lauren beautiful blue bath sheet, and I coveted it. And I was rising above those threadbare towels. So one day, my brother, who's also in the Philadelphia area, came with my fabulous little nephew. He was one years old, and he was going to visit me, and he was going to take a bath. We'd spent all day, and we getting ready, and of course I take out my fabulous blue towel for my nephew, because only the finest, right? <laughs> and we're about to get in him in the bathtub, and he's in his little diaper, and all of a sudden we hear, pop, pop, pop. We're from like a town of 4,000. I've never heard a gunshot in my life, and I turn to my brother, and he goes, was that a gunshot? And I was like, I think that was shooting. So of course we run towards it. <laughs> he grabs my nephew, I have the towel over my shoulder, and we run down the steps. Now, my partner, who is sitting on the couch studying medical things, I said, I think someone might have gotten shot. She goes, the, you know, future doctor, she goes, I think they'll figure it out. <laughs> she doesn't move. We run out the door, run down our little street, Okay, and turn the corner, and there in front of Joe's barber shop is a guy with the back of his head blown off. And, oh yeah, it happened. So look it up. You could probably look in the files and find it. And it was weird because while we were running towards it, all these wonderful guys that had taken care of me were walking in the other direction. Very calmly, and even one of the younger ones that I was sort of friends with, like, what's going on? He goes, and he keeps walking. Like, I didn't take it like, maybe I shouldn't run towards this. I'm right there. And then we get there and all of, and it, I recognize the man that shot. There was a social club, it turns out. I had no idea. I just <laughs> There was a social club next to Joe's Barbershop. And this is where this guy always hung out. I mean, it all came together for me. I'm an idiot. But eventually I was like, what? And all of the people that were his buddies were spread out in a circle and they were holding each other back. And they were going, don't go near him, don't go near him. And I'm like, this is horrible. What if the guy dies? And he's like, I could see his mistress and she's being held back and his wife and she's being held back. And I'm like, the guy is like gonna die and all he's gonna see is, don't go near him, don't go near him. So I go near him. And I go, oh my god, and it's going through my head, like, what do I do, what do I do? And I said to him, look, I'm really sorry. There's a lot of blood. I can't go near, but I thought, shock, okay? But meanwhile, I know nothing, people. I am not like a medical person at all. I shouldn't have been doing any of this. And I put his knee, he's actually writhing, he's conscious, and he's lifting his legs up, and he puts his legs down, and I cover him, thinking, let me at least keep him warm until somebody comes. So I cover him with my fabulous blue towel. He immediately takes the towel <laughs> off of himself and puts it to the back of his head. And I'm like, oh my god, that was my towel. <laughs> so, so, and I hear people saying, she knows what she's doing, she's a nurse. <laughs> and I'm going, I'm not a nurse. But in my head, I, so before you know it, cops show up 
up, people scatter like cockroaches. <laughs> I mean, no one wanted to be around there. And I'm walking away and I'm like going, my towel, I can't believe this. <laughs> so I go back and within minutes, because you know the cops show up and then of course, what was it, Action News is there. And now the TV is on and literally four doors down from me, I'm watching the crime scene on, with Monica Melpass, right? Like just like <laughs> watching. And then all of a sudden in a clear plastic bag, I see my towel. <laughs> So I run out the door, and I go down, and there's the guy. I mean, it's happening live. And I go down, and there's the guy with crime scene investigation, CSI, whatever, on the back. And I go, hey, 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 um, that's my towel. And he looks at me, God love him. I can remember his face today. He goes, what did you give that punk your towel for? And I'm like, I, I don't know. I thought I would be nice. I thought, I don't know what I was thinking giving the guy my towel. He's a punk. You shouldn't have given him this towel. And I'm going, do you think I could get the towel back? And he goes, this towel? I don't think so. It's a nice towel. <laughs>